hard to fathom because Penrith seems to have played the better football for most of this first half. First points of the game went to George with a try to wreck Perth in the corner after a backline movement close to the Penrith line. Penrith caught short out wide. But then I guess the desperation of Penrith began to show because if they win this match this afternoon, they keep their semi-final hopes alive. Three tries in 11 minutes.
time for us to rejoin our commentators at the ANZ Stadium. Headed up, of course, by Jerry Collins. At halftime here, 22 picks in favour of the Brisbane Broncos over the Gold Coast. And we've just been looking at uh, those halftime scores in Sydney and relating them to the first grade ladder. And uh, if the Brisbane Broncos go on and win this match, they will go to 19 points. Now, Cronulla went down this weekend. Newcastle are trailing Western Suburbs. They're both on 18. So Brisbane would leapfrog both those and would go to 19. Now, South are being well beaten by Canberra so that they would be level with South. And if Illawarra are beaten today, well, then they would be level with them as well, which would mean that the Broncos would suddenly be equal fit. And, and uh, that would be a tremendous result for them. So uh, not only interest in this game, but also in the results of those matches involving uh, those teams that I just mentioned, uh, including South and Illawarra and, of course, Newcastle. But half-time here, 22.6 in favour of the... Uh, Brisbane Broncos, and we might get some statistics from Paul before we hear from Greg. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, twice the Broncos for Wendell Saylor, Julian O'Neill, Cairns, and Langer. O'Neill, three from four. For the Seagull, Pussy in a try. Bartram, one from one. Just in the statistics side of things, the penalty's pretty even. Two all the scrums, two one to the Gold Coast. But the missed tackles, 23 missed tackles for Seagull, four to the Broncos. And just the tacklers for... The Broncos, Brett Guardian leading the way, 13 tackles, 10 hit-ups, Mark Hone and Alan Cairn, 11 tackles each, uh, Andrew G, 12 tackles, and he's also done 9 hit-ups, leading tacklers, Herring and Peter Gill, uh, 16 and 14 respectively, and Peter Gill doing a fair bit of work, 7 hit-ups for, for Seagull. Uh, the completed set of tackles, Jerry. 10 to the Broncos, 5 to Seagulls, and I think that tells the story. Yeah, it probably does. Now, uh, the, the second half about to get underway, but Greg, you had some rather bad news during the week. Yes, I, I did, Jerry, and uh, I regret that I have to pass on this. On behalf of everyone here at Grandstand, we pass on our deep sympathy to the Robertson family after the passing away of Roy Robbo Robertson on Thursday night after a six month battle with him. Roy was a top rugby league player with a good man in the 70s and formed the top management team with Des Morris and three successful ladies for the female, which included three premierships. The funeral is tomorrow, Monday, at 1.15 at the Mount, Mount Thompson Preparatory. Roy is survived by Rosalind, Kent, Troy, Aaron and me. Thanks, Greg. Very sad indeed. Now the, uh, the football action is back underway. The Gold Coast in possession. They're about 10 metres short of the halfway, and Cyril has been able to pick up any news from their dressing room. Yes, uh, Wayne told the players to concentrate on their own job, do it correctly, play correct football, and uh, Brad Thorne has gone and replaced John Briss from the present time. I don't know who the hooker is. Gold Coast in possession, the pass going to Hurst, looking for the kick, but the Brisbane Broncos have been found offside, and so the first penalty of the second half going to the Gold Coast. They're trailing the Broncos 22-6. They'll be kicking for touch from about 8 metres in their own territory. And Jerry, we were talking about the Broncos winning this game that will get them into the final. It will also be the 100th uh, victory in the premiership matches since uh, they started into the competition in 1988. So it's not a bad effort in their seventh year. Well, they've really got a 40 minutes work playing for, haven't they? It's, uh, David Bovang takes the ball forward for the Gold Coast. He's scored 28 metres out from the line, plays the ball, and it goes out to Coleman. Then away to Woods. He's scored on that 30 metre line. Woods to play the ball for us. Gold Coast Seagull, pass goes back to Coleman, then a nice uh, change of direction that's taken by Peter Gill, but he ran straight into Alan Can and Andrew G, and that soon stopped his progress. He's played another hearing, and off it goes to Coleman, then away to Dunham, and he uh, oh, makes a beautiful step and a break across the 20 metre line, but he was caught from behind, Chris McKenna grabbed hold of his shirt. Now John Scott in a good run, offloads again to Dunham, then away to Coleman, now a long pass, and the ball carried forward nicely him, and he's lost possession. Scott Freestone unable to take the ball properly, and so the Brisbane Broncos come up with possession. Julian O'Neill has the ball five metres out from his own line. That looked promising, and it was another good break by Dunham and Andrew He played really well in the reserve grade there. No, he certainly did. The Dunham boys uh, played half and five eight in the reserve grade game. They set up a beautiful combination, and just that, he showed that he very healed there. He still had Michael Hancock as if he wasn't there. And as we were saying about Dunneman and his uh, good attacking plays, come up with two very good tackles as well, just as Greg was saying about uh, how well he was playing. I was watching.
chasing him, but uh, he came up with a tremendous tackle. Now the kick through by Alfie Langer, and going back for it is Russell Busiev, picking the ball up about 23 metres out from his line, and he's tackled by John Driscoll. Plays the ball now, going from dummy half is uh, Robert Thorne, he's caught 10 metres short of the halfway line. Thorne to play the ball for the Gold Coast. Herring's at dummy half, it goes to Peter Gill. Gill runs into Alfie Langer, he works those arms free. Can he get to deliver the ball? No, he can't. Andrew G comes in to finish off. Gailey was underneath. Langer, of course, also in that tackle. Now Coleman with a dummy, and then an offload, and they're running well onto the ball there with Scott. And he's tackled after making it about 12 metres into the Brisbane Broncos territory. Well, that's with Paul Gailey there. Now the Gold Coast start to spread it wide. A kick by Scott Freestone, of all people. And it's not a bad looking play either, although. Uh, the man is back there, Wendell Taylor, to take the ball and has the applause from the crowd. Julian O'Neill from Dummy Half, with Dummy about 10 metres out from his own line. Scarton there to meet him and takes him to ground 10 metres out from the Brisbane Broncos line. Wendell Taylor from Dummy Half again, raced through the defence but lost his footing as he ducked underneath uh, Freestone and has tackled just short of his own 20 metre line. Now Mark Hone carries it across that 20 metre line. 22 points to 6 in favour of the Broncos. Andrew G, what a charge from him. Took the ball and just, just looked totally determined as he worked his way straight after the fence. Now a kick from Alfie Langer, almost knocked over after kicking it. And it's taken well by Busia. He runs across his 30 metre line. Now he's been chased by Renault. Renault won't let him get away. Followed him like a little dog following a sheep and grabbed hold of his ankles and brought him to ground. Now Robert Thorne with a good run is tackled just short of the halfway line. Thorne was injured then too. As he went to ground, I think his, uh, his head may have. Hit a, a boot from a, a Brisbane Broncos defender and he looks pretty groggy. Wayne Bartram takes it across the halfway into the Brisbane Broncos territory. He's tackled about three metres into the Brisbane half. Coleman now runs across field. Now he offloads to Dunham and Dunham with a long pass out to David Bobank who steps back inside but Willie Carr wraps his arms around him as he does so. And Michael Hancock from the centres comes across to finish off the tackle. Dunham and juggles the ball, manages to hold on and gets it to Coleman and then away it goes. And it's offloaded again now to David Woods. Woods is through a dummy. But uh, just couldn't get rid of the ball. He was on the fence as he tried to get rid of it. He uh, had to take it back. Now Hurst with a high kick. The Brisbane Broncos, Julian O'Neill, takes the ball, almost juggled it. Good pressure to the
Julian O'Neill, they take the tap and Andrew G crashes through the Gold Coast defence and scores just short of the 30 kilo line. They showed real strength there. Now Wayne Bartram showing strength for the coast, and he's tackled 24 metres out to the line, 22 6 in favour of the Brisbane Broncos. Going from Nelly Half Ray Herring, he grubbers through, he regathers, no, couldn't regather. Six moves going on by David Bowie across the line, but in the meantime, Herring had actually touched the ball, and hence the knock on on that six tackle. And so the uh, Brisbane Broncos have a handover, and Willie Carter has caught. Yeah, well, I think they're all congratulations. 
after the break by Julian O'Neill. Broncos were down. They were hammering the, the Broncos goal line. All of a sudden they came up with a mistake. Julian O'Neill picked it up. Ran it about 70 metres. Was tackled. Passed it inside the Willie Carnley was tackled. Ball went across to the left hand side. They received a bit. They worked it in on Wendell Taylor. And then they were in the middle of the post. And they were on the field. Greg Colvin was the game. Um, and the conversion successful, Cyril. So um, another two points for the Broncos, and they now lead by 38 to 6. Sorry, Shane Kepler on the fullback's reserve grade uh, going on, and uh, Paul Morris is on their team now. Changes happening everywhere, and the Broncos have it all thrown up. Uh, Good to see how the boys score of the game. Both come into play with all the sides, so it's apparent that the Broncos don't let the Gold Coast score. The other side of it, they keep racking up the price. Indeed, that will be important. And also, uh, still a long way to go, of course. You might get to equal fifth, but you've still got to keep on winning. The pressure is still there on the Broncos. But it really seems as though this is a big afternoon for them. Not only from their own performance, but also from the results from other games. But it's not full time in all of those yet either. And of course, right here on ABC Grandstand, we keep you in touch with all the football. Touch and I'm looking for an extra one, Cyril. You're volunteering for the job. I thought I might. Well, you can take your microphone with you. It'll be a different perspective anyway. The Brisbane Broncos, though, they have the, uh, have the ball about eight metres short of the halfway, and they uh, just put it down. Yes, the ball has been... Uh, lost. Oh, how about a penalty? Penalty tackle. And Dave Woods went by. And so they get the penalty and they pick up the ground. About five metres from the Gold Coast half. So John Driscoll takes the tap and offloads it to Hone. And Hone is caught about 15 metres in Gold Coast territory. Driscoll's up and coming half. Oh, Hone's lost the ball, so I think the referee will put a scrum down here. I don't think there'll be any penalty there. Hone just loses the scrum. He's going to go down with the Gold Coast feed. Juro. Uh, Yes, around the grounds at Brookvale, Manly 23, Illawarra 14, Penrith 26, St George 18, Western Suburbs 26. Andrew G plays the ball, they've gone 10 metres into the Gold Coast Territory, Driscoll spies the gap and keeps going, and almost got right through, he's caught 30 metres out, Alfie Langer at dummy half, the offload now to Fred Gallia, Gallia makes it up almost to the 20 metre line, there he's caught. Pass goes across now to Alfie Langer, Langer holding the ball in the hand, kicks forward, the grubber kick, but it goes to Boosian. And uh, Langer again was falling it through, looking for the bounce. Didn't get it that time. Now David Bobank for the goal coach. Runs up across his own 10 metre line. It's been there. Gavin Allen. Is that Gavin Allen? No, it's not. It was from over. Just a uh, look on his face was actually Brad Thorne. But the goal coach make it up almost to the 20 metre line in their own territory. Chris McKenna went down there, injured. And holding
game. Penrith invariably found themselves in a winning position, but they had to last a bit. Let's George back to the concrete. The half time was Penrith by two points, 16 14, and with about six minutes to go, they led, Penrith led 28 <laughs>
of the season that uh, might cost it. Why not? I have to ask. We've got any sort of emotion there with the Magpies successful today? Uh, well, you know, it's going to come. They're going to win, guys. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they're celebrating the new coach. Well, we'll the next week they play and, uh, and uh, well, we'll see. Well, George, good, 24. Uh, what I'd like to say is that Canberra, what's, what's showing us we're these two games that we've got, what's your favourite play? Well, these games to me, Dallas are marvellous job all year. Thanks to me. Very good. I would really appreciate it. required to play top big time stuff. You know, and firm and side step to take the second round. Yeah, that's a cracker. We're going to play track. This Canberra side can be frightening when they're in full pride. Well, let's find all about the victory today. 48 Tim Gale. The break this afternoon through everything at the Raiders, Jason Sinclair, Jason Bell, and of course Craig Field, instrumental length through everything at the Raiders. The great defence from that kept them out, and the Raiders went on with it then. 12 minutes. Oh, special. And went to Bradley Clyde, 22 metres out. Clyde won the line and scored in the corner. And that started the Canberra Raiders avalanche this afternoon with tries to Mullins, Nandruku, Croker and Meninga. I'll just quickly run through the try scorers. Mullins, four tries. Meninga, two. Nandruku, two. Clyde, one. Croker, one. David Ferner, three goals. And a Ricky Stewart, a one goal from the three, three attempts. And for South Sydney, Craig Field, a try. And Craig Gibson, a try for their eight points. So the full-time score there, Canberra 48, South Sydney 8. Paul, when did you see this afternoon's game? Well, quite an even first half, Tim, even though the Raiders were leading by 16 points before half-time, it was 16-0, nil after 30 minutes, but uh, Nina's just tried to field just before half-time, put South Sydney back in the game. Uh, I think the thing that they really you know, were was, was causing a lot of trouble that stage on the first half, and then the Raiders were able to get the ball out of the game, and then the Raiders were able to
Hey, Mr. Jones! 
face together, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to agree it was a good fight back from back all there. They've outscored Barcourt in 16 points to 6 in the second half. With the final score being Barcourt in 46, Blackwell 22. After Barcourt and Lee. To come and still eight or, eight or so minutes to go. Uh, eight and a half start. Again, at home, that's an old thing. I mean, they're hard enough to beat anyway. Anyway. 36 nil eh? The Saints lead Parramatta. That'll be a good game to watch, wouldn't it? The referee must have walked off. Can we see Crow line this up? Crow makes no mistake, eh? and up go the flags. So 30 points to nil it is. So we've got seven minutes to go. Still in this first half. 30 points to nil. Who would have believed this? <coughs> the wind will be going while well we get back into this game. Restart here by Linton down to Shane Woods. It picked up Danny Arthur again. Back to that same man again. There goes Buffy Arthur. Said I'll have a run up the middle again. And gets it up over his 20 metre mark. Probably 30 metres out from his own line. He plays it back. Diddley and balls and out to Robbie Goodger. Runs it sideways there. Went in there. Pick him off then. Hold him up. Play it. Play it. Now to uh, Michael Hayward. Diddley and balls today. But off down the middle comes the prop. Now he's lost the ball. Now they've reefed it out. They've reefed it. No. Reef the tack, reef the ball out of the tackle. And Cronin's spotted that there. No, Witten are going to anybody make it worse for themselves here. Get it in the old hurricane there, making silly mistakes. And finds touch to bash with the fullback, finds touch. So Chill got it. Chill, Chill having a bit of a soccer skill there. The old Chill show in the class. Back it comes now to Dave bit off on the burst. And gains another 10 metres there. He'll play back. Hey, with a dummy half. He looks for Liam Borson out to Liam for Crow. Crow picks up back inside to Coco Wilson who takes a tackle. And he'll play back to Robbie Goodger. Finds Crow out wide. He's got back inside the line of Borson. Changes direction the point of attack there. Tries to slip a pass away and inside the 20 metre mark. So Winton under pressure here again. He'll go from dummy half. Hayward and a good jink and run. He finds 10 or so metres. Still going. Bumps into one. Still going. Oh, he's only metres short. Five metres out from the line. He'll play it back. Crow at dummy half. He wants, wants it wide. The Liam Bulls, he's got runners there. Throws it to no one. Picked up by Kerrigan. Oh, look at that ball pass from the big fella. Bash it down. Comes back inside. Slips it to Coco Wilson. He goes on his own. The big fella crashed towards the line. He scored a try. The big second rower. The Baker's in. Scored about 15 metres to the left of the upright. So uh, takes it into the 30s. 34 points to nil. The kick to come. So five minutes to go, mate. It's looking very much reminiscent of next week. It'll only be whether the condition will hold out where they score that 100. A couple of weeks ago. One thing they've been been sweating on lately is the attack these red fellas have put together. They're very smart in attack. Thank you. 
Sees it back towards the center. Picks up Liam Balls in the middle of the last back draw. That could have been anything then. But the wind defense is equal to it and tackling. He'll play back now. Comes across field through Michael Hayward. Picks up Danny Arthur again in the thick of it. That takes a tackle. They couldn't unload probably. Danny Arthur, H.E. there at Dummy Arthur. Looks for support there. Got in front of them. Nile Borsum outside of KK and they drive in towards Touch and Winton. He's equal to the task and holds her up. Dummy Arthur there. Hayward away to Borsum to bash at the fullback in the line up. Sticks around one or two. Still going. Still going, Bashy. Still going. He's still out of the tackle. Very loose at this fullback. Out to Crow. Crow slips it to Blue Chip. Blue Chip to Woods. And away goes Shane Woods. Will shut the gate, mate. You wouldn't catch him, mate. You know, it's 300 metre dash. A little over 50 metres. And Shane Woods comes around there and makes no mistake. Good chase there by the little winger, but all to no avail. And he scores under the pace. No, 38 points in the way and the kick to come. Give me some of their St. George leading Parramatta. I can't cop that. Flogging. Right, mate, it's a bit painful, that flogging. Mate, throw here, in front of the sticks. Try and uh, take us into the 40. In the straight half time, it could well be 40 points. Yeah, mate, it's no mistake this time. Bring it back again. Short for the double money, you know. <laughs> Back it comes there. Lee Carrigan down the middle, takes the tackle. Oh, the kick off again. Only seconds counted down here for the remaining of this half. And big uh, Robbie Goodger there in the middle. He comes and takes a tackle. He'll play it back. Back to Hayward. Hayward to Liam Borson. Picks up a runner and KK Wilson down the middle. He comes. And set upon by the Winton defence. He'd be about 20 odd metres out from his own line. Of comes across field from Balls in the crowd. Lyle Balls shows the ball. Runs at the fence there and takes a tackle. They put him to the ground. He'll play back. Crow dummy half there. Gets it to bash with the fullback. So they'll drive it downtown. And the grubber sort of a kick too. Not a bad one either. And uh, Solomon says, I'll take it on the toe. And away he goes. Young Solo down the middle. He comes and Woods come at him and take him to ground. Good defence there, boy, young Bubbles with you. And the way goes, uh, Lane, I think his name is, he drives towards the, the, tr the back home defence and taken well there by HG. Up goes half time, who to off it goes there, and uh, Peter Lenton said, We'll try and get on the board somehow, we'll kick a bomb up there, and up goes the bash with the fullback, he goes back and retrieves it. Brings it out of his own try line, and they're on the attack here, Barky, they could well score a try, the Wittenfalls are heading for the dressing room. Uh, it comes to the outside here, they've got support across field here. Liam Borson claps on the pace a little half back, they can't catch him. Comes across the defence here, and oh, he runs into touch. And the flag goes up, and uh, referee says that'll do for half time. That's 40 points in Hill, right the mistake of uh, half time. Let Barkle on the ball again. Commencement of the, uh, commencement of the second half here. 40 minutes of football to go, and 40 points in Hill. Well, I tell you, Winton, Winton must, have, must have had to take a handful of bombs there to get, get back into this game. <coughs> and driven off there and down to hard bottle who picks up Kerrigan the big prop on the burst comes the big fella cross Billy goes and straightens her up and takes a tackle plays her back quickly he gets away to Hayward out to Liam Balls and that rig Robbie Goodge on the burst the second row and down the middle he comes and went and equal to him and taking the ground so good you're about 35 metres out and spots no one in front of him and away he goes you got no defence there and up to the halfway line goes Robbie Goodge there and a good run good thinking there Way it comes across for the work one to KK Wilson there, takes it on the boil and gains a few more metres. Taken well by the Winton defence. Hey, with a dummy half. Across field they go. Cut out at the bash of the fullback. A little chip over the top there in the fullback there. Comes across. And takes the ball. No worries there. Brings it back over his 20 metre mark. 30 odd metres out from his own line. Takes a tackle of Bleacher. 
went and taken away through their uh, hooker there, and ra he's wrapped up ball and all. And good defence by uh, Bash with the fullback there. Crossfield, they come went in there, working through the middle. And won't get no room to move through there and the big Kerrigan and uh, Coco is shut her down. Away well, goes the big Stolly, the Sparky from Winton. Look at her, she's on the boil, the big fella. Oh, she dies with her there. Uh, good run there, but no support. And makes it up towards the halfway line. Winton there through Lenton. Down the middle comes, uh, I can't pick that player for Winton. A good run though. Gains a few more metres, fit the last, there's the referee. He'll play back now. Comes to Lenton. Lenton across field there and Winton on the attack for one of the few times in the match. Look at that mate of Bursey. Oh, he's throwing a shocker. She's hit the leg with the... Oh, the shocking pass, but anyway, you can't help bad luck. McIntyre, was it? In the centre. He's lost the pill there. So we'll see a scrum go down the bark and feed. No, it's ruled a handover, sorry. So there'll be no scrum. Well, it comes to Liam Balls now to Crow. Crow across to Kerrigan, wide of the ruck. The big fella straightens down the middle. 30 metres out, he'll play it back to H.E. Back it comes to Crow, looking for support again. He's got another second row runner there, and Robbie Goodger there. Carts it up towards the halfway line. He's taken 10 metres down inside his own territory. Way across the back line, it comes through Crow. At the lower balls and standing wide in the centres today. So a bit of a switch in uh, tactics this week in Lyle's playing the centres with the absence of Harry. And uh, way it comes now, Coco down the middle goes the big fella. And taken to ground by the Witten defence. Still inside Barky territory here. Well, they've been camped here for a while and Winton sort of, oh, a bad miss there. We just had a bit of a look. Young Rob, there's you. Oh, sorry, Bash, he's had a bit of a look. And, uh, we'll see a scrum go down with the Winton feet. The centre of the field, inside Barky territory. Oh, I see Lenton there dive on the ball from the scrum and come away with it. Oh, he's got up and gone again. <laughs> and driven sideways in a good good tackle, ball and all. Uh, by Crow it was. Crow goes across field again. He's hunting again. Crow bumps out. Bumps out of one, the Witten defender there. The big front row and gains valuable territory there. So Witten on the boil there. What can they put on here? Big stolly said, I'll get in the middle. And ta carts in the middle there, equal to you too, and driving the ground. Kerrigan and uh, bit off there, wrap him up. All players are back now. Crossfield comes to uh, Lenton. Lenton looks for a runner there down the middle. They're starting to get a bit together, the Winton fellas. And they get on the boards, a big question. Way it comes through their centre, who cuts back in field there and wrapped up. He's set upon by Bubbles Bleacher. Equal to the task there and tackles him with the assistance from uh, Liam Balson. Winton through Lenton. Shows it there. Little kick through. Regather. Picked up by the fullback. Bash it. No problems at all there for the fullback. What's he real there? Six to go. And uh, away goes Danny Arthur, said, oh, get us out of here. And carts it up to the 10 metre mark. Winton equal there, hold the, played it in the ruck. Well, Winton to come away with this time. So Winton have it back here, they've got a chance here. They'll throw it wide. Across field they go, through. Then they keep him to nil, Barkle. And, and uh, play it back now, they've got a big runner in. Oh, charges at the line there, and up come the bark on the fence, and Kerrigan and Coco Wilson are equal to it again. Having big games too, the big forwards. Crossfield through, Lenton looks for a runner, a big Stolly. Stolly looking for an open there, the big fella carts it forward. Oh, he's about five metres short. Good defence for Coco Wilson again. Crossfield and Lenton looks for runners again, goes on his own. Oh, taken well underneath, it was David Kerrigan again. Good tackle there by the big fella. And a smart tackle too. Crossfield they go, they've got numbers out wide here, the big centre. Can't get his pass away. Yes, he doesn't. Straight to Shane Wood. He's equal to it and picks it up. Dummy half is a uh, hard bottle of waiter. Big day bit off. Then straightens the attack. Takes a tackle. He's about 80 minutes out from his own line. Liam Wilson, dummy half. Picks up Coco Wilson on the ball. The big fella. Down the middle he comes in. Held by the defence there. Spins around and takes a tackle. They wouldn't have their chance here to throw a bit on the... The clash of heads or something there, a knee on a head. Anyway, young Winton player down. Back to Liam Balls in the halfback. Said, I'll oh, get us down the middle here. Have a good game to this little bloke. Back it comes here from Bashford. Gets a little opening through the middle. A little chip kick ahead to regather. Oh, he's regathered it. Straight back into his arms there. And a good move too. And Winton are equal to it and wrap him up. Just inside Winton territory. Out there now it comes to Hayward. Hayward's got support. Lyle Balls, Lyle Balls in the opening here. He gets a pass around the back to Danny Arthur. Slips one backwards, does he? Who's it go to? I think Winton will come up with it. 
No, Winton have got the ball there. They've come up with it. Winton trying to work it away from the rain line there. Through that little winger on his ankle tapping. Still going, but put off balance. Dived upon there by uh, Martin Crow. He's in everything today, this Crow, too. Having a big game. I like to work for the big props, though. Big uh, Dave Kerrigan and uh, KK Wilson have done a tower of work there. Robbie Goods is equal to that tackle. The big Stolly said, I'll go out wide here and bumps, tries to bump off one or two. It can't get around. Danny Arthur, was it, I think? No, it wasn't. It was Michael Hayward, sorry. Maggot comes to Lenton and says, what am I doing with it? I've got it again. Where's me runners? And gets it back to support there. But, uh, there's a tackle underneath. I don't know who it is underneath there. That wasn't a bad tackle. Michael Hayward again with it. A good defence there anyway. Went through their back line. They try to get work it through the back line. Oh, they got through for one of the few times. And away goes a little little hooker. He's got support. Tries a shocker inside. She's about four foot in, in front of the bloke. But the referee has no hesitation. All the rules of the ball's floated forward. What's he going to rule here? It'll be a scrum go down, I think. They've got a scrum go down with a bark on feed about uh, 25 We see uh, come away through Bashford there, and uh, he'll play it back now. Coco Wilson on the boil, the big fella. Oh, he's lost the ball. Play on to the referee. Winton have it now. The big front row. Bit of a mess up there. Another Winton player down. No Zambuck's working overtime here, trying to keep these Winton players on deck. And good run here by the uh, little winger for Winton there. Burrows forward towards 20 metre line. He gets it back to Lenton. Lenton to stall out wide, the big prop. Runs it wide, slips a pass back inside, back outside. The, oh, he's had a shocking day with the hands, this fella. And the referee says Bark owns it within the five. And quick tap ahead there. Can they score? Oh, and he's penalised Barky again. You didn't retire the ten. He's giving ten in the bin. I don't think it'll make much difference. Anyway, he says you can't do that. So ten in the bin for Martin Crow. Barky down a man here. Can Winton score? That's a big question. And everyone's lips at the moment. Good defence here by Goodoff and K there. And uh, Michael Hayward back to Linton. Linton's looking for runners. Oh, they're gone without it again. What's he rule this time? Knock on both ways. So I'll see uh, Barkhall and Feed, I think it is. Scrum to go down about 10 metres here. Barkhall there, having to defend vigorously there. With down a man. Oh, sloppy pass back to Bash with the fullback. Said, I'll get us out of here. And gets it up to about 15, 20 metres out. 16 metres out from his own line. No, plays it back now. Comes to Kerrigan. Kerrigan, the big prop says, I'll go on my own, the big fella. Bit of a waltz down the centre. Oh, what a good run. Cart a few more metres. Gets it to about 30 metres out from the own line, their own line here. Liam Ball's in there. Wants it wide. Back to Danny Arthur, the big second row, the lock forward. And takes a tackle right in centre. He's caught about 40 odd metres out from his own line here. Hard bottle of dummy half. He's got a runner and Rob Goodger. The big hard yards, Rob down the middle he goes. Straightens the attack there, up towards the halfway line. Four tackles as the referee. Bubbles boots a dummy half, across to Liam Balls and out to Lyle. Lyle shows the ball and cuts back inside, still going. Chops off the left foot. And Met and Sam is there on a good tackle. Uh, the young Latin was there, meets him in defence. Run across field through Danny Arthur, a little chip across field. And all the Witten follows there, back to the 5-8 who picks it up. Runs it back towards the opposition, they cart into ground, a good tackle there. Okay, Wilson again. Went and play it back now through Stoll, the big prop. Big Stoll, he drives it up towards the red ball, they meet him in great defence. Equal to the task, the big prop says, come here. Letton looks for runners here, oh, shock and pass here. Oh, Winton fellas having a nightmare here, buddy, trying to run that ball up there. Bit of a boil over team, Balmain beating Pendle. 28-12, that's the first of the line. And what I tell you is 16-13, South have beaten the goal case. Yeah, that's, that's true, mate. Anyway, we see Barky working wide to the ruck there, through Coco Wilson. Gets it into the, into the Witten territory, sorry. Back it comes across field, Lyle Borson, Liam Borson. 
Down the middle goes a little halfback. That's very surprised. It might be that uh, about 12 minutes in the second half and no score yet. Still 40 nil. Bit of a lull in the scoring though. The boys are on strike. Oh, Woods has get regathered here. No problem at all. The little wing is flying through here. Very smart winger, this fella. And a good chip kick it was for Lyle Balls in there. Spotted there. No one at home behind the bloody defence there for Witten. And a little kick three for that uh, young Shane Woods there to regather and puts it down. So just as we speak, Gorn over. 44 and 44 points, points to nil. Forty-four nil there. Eh? And a kick to come. Why Crowley's kicking? I mean, Crowley's in the bin. That's right. I so must. Uh, that that, uh, that must make it a little bit better, mate. Boys have uh, got to be uh, enjoying this, mate. Twelve men on the field. Not. Uh, looks like Liam's going to have a kick. The big prop, big Caro, and uh, I like. Uh, can't really fault anyone, but uh, Coco Co and Kero have already been mixing it in the middle. Very smart combination there. Lawson. Lyle setting up a lot of play there for his backs and a good little chip there behind the ruck. Well, Winton happened and uh, young Shane Woods has gone in for another one. So it makes you wonder how yeah, that had this early games, what, what some of these scores would end up. You know, Liam's sort of not too interested in that kick. Pushed it wide and uh, waved away. Hey, 44 with about uh, 30 minutes gone in the second half. So, Peter Lenton will try something different, a little short kick at Lyle, he can get the Grabs it, runs it back, it feels still going. He's run away from one, up towards the centre of the field, and takes a tackle. Oh, it's Young, uh... Well, he goes across field now. <coughs> Big Kerrigan says, I'll take it. Big Dave down the middle, he goes over the halfway line. Way back near across field, the lower balls awesome. back to Rock Woodger down the middle, goes the big second row, still going. A few metres down the middle there, and no one at home for Witten, but he set upon and put the ground. Hayward goes from dummy half on a good run too, the little hooker away he goes, looks at the port and can't get a pass away, so takes a tackle. Inside the Winton 20 metre mark now, only 18 metres out or so, cross field that comes a bit off, bit off looks to the port, out to uh, Arthur to bash with the fullback in the move, cuts back inside, tries to get a pass away, gets it back to bit off, bit off fires it back to Harbottle, Harbottle in support there, oh they've knocked it on, the little halfback. Liam Borson's come up in the air with the head. Uh, the boys all having a bit of a look there and uh, said, uh, we'd better knock it on to all other players. Knocking us out the ball. Stars come to go down about 10 or 15 metres out from the uh, Winton line. Fed in boy uh, Lenton said, here we go again for another scrum. We're going a bit of a ringer. Oh, we've come away with it against the feed. Liam Borson runs it on his own. He's got Bash at the fullback in the move. Spins around the tackle as he get over. No, he can't ground the ball. Maybe caught short a couple of metres out. Bashard plays it back. Back across field goes to Liam Balls and looks for runners. They're all standing in a bunch of red fellas. Get wide. Got a score if they throw a wide. Lyle, Liam Balls and back to Hayward. Back it comes to Lyle out wide. Looks for support. He's got Woods on the burst. Shane Woods, he'll score. And he's gone in again. Uh, Lyle reckons not a bad thing, but uses Shane Woods. Very smart bloke in attack. So they're gone in out wide again. So that'll be, what's it, 48 points to nil. The kick to come. Uh, still in a bit of a boil here, these A graders. The crowd's a bit stunned in silence here. They can't believe that uh, there's no fire in that blue jersey. I'm going to be stunned myself, uh, it's not like Winton to uh, not put it together in a game of football. Get all they know up that way. They had to grind everyone into the ground of the game of football. And obviously it's not working for them today. Wild says it's about time they move on a bit closer. Uh, it looks like Bubbles are going to have a shot at goal. That's it. It'll be uh, probably Rob Goodges kick a goal next, mate. Hello, he's been known to boot a few. He's, boot, he's booted a few nails and a few bloody bits of timber around the ridges. Yeah, smacked a few holes and bits of chip rock. 
uh, whether you kick a football being up there. Bubbles taking plenty of time with this. He puts a lot of time into practice and kicking this young bloke too. He's over here down to 16 to train him and uh, stabs it at this time. And then across the face of goals, they know, no go. That's all scoring here, still 48 points in all. So we've still got about uh, 22, 23 minutes to go in this uh, game here. Winton said we'll try something different, a little 10 yard jab and picked up by Bill off in a good mood too. Did well to take that now flying through on him, bit off the player back. Back it comes Haywards at Ogal, me open dummy half and tries to get away, gets a pass away one handed. Back to bit off again, takes a tackle. Right in the halfway line or just inside Barky territory to be. Dummy half, hard bottle outside to uh, Liam. Big Nigel galloping Clydesdale, she's on the field. Pump those legs this fella. Back it comes Liam. It's a pass away to Lyle. Lyle looks for support. Oh, a bit of bad luck. Harry. Harry Budu's on the field, but she's lost the ball. Scrum go down inside Winton Territory. About 30 odd metres out, 30 or 40 metres out from uh, the Winton line. The injured player here for Barkhall. Who's down? Biddy, is it? Got the hooker down. Well, I might stop the video, John. Boy, it comes now. Winton come away from the scrum through their centre and takes a tackle there. Rashford and uh, the big second row and Coco have picked him off anyway. Winton come away again and wrapped up there by uh, Coco Wilson again. Involved in the in the defence, the big fella very heavily involved. Away goes to Linton, said, I want, want a runner here and gets a pass at the back and oh. Got a real good pass to the big prop, but he takes the tackle of Harry Bleacher there on the field. Oh, well, Harry, she had a good game in Longridge last week, Harry. One of the best games you've seen. And, uh, very good tackle and defender. Away goes Harry. Winton come across through the back line there. They work through Linton. Cut back inside the, the big centre there and takes the tackle. And Bleacher was underneath. Back across the field and Linton says to give us another game. Oh, he's lost it this time. Take him from behind. A good tackle there by Harry Bleacher. And uh, Linton there hit the ground pretty heavily, and uh, Harry Bleacher was involved in that good tackle from behind. Only knows one way, mate, and that's a boot lacing. And I see uh, Sinbin Crow's back on it. Crowy the Sinbin, are they calling? Back it comes the Gallop and Clyes. Oh, big Nigel down the middle goes the big flop. Get out of me, Road, he's hitting. Held there, boy, Latham. Plays it back near Hayward. Way to Liam Balls and that. Oh, Crow, Crow gets a support there and a runner, and. Uh, Coco, it is there. Down the middle he goes. Up up by the Winton defence. Crow across field there, looks for runners, and Danny out there, wide of the ruck. Spots a winger out wide, hard bottle. Oh, gets a nice pass. Has it gone forward, hasn't it? Let's play the forward now. Referee's not happy with that. What's he will there? He's going to rule the scrum. Now scrum to go down. They went to feed the scrum here, put in by Linton, taken away by Winton. They'll work it wide the ruck here this time, Winton still held in, ba Barky style holding him to nil. And very keen to hold Winton out here in a good defence there, and a good low tackle from Harry Bleacher again. And they don't look too far for Harry Bleacher and the defence is very, usually very low, there he is again. Great wrap up tackle. A very good boot lace to this fella, good, good example to a lot of the players. Look at him go again, another tackle. Oh mate, three or four he's peeled off and Went in there trying to burst through the middle there. Stolly out wide says, give me a ruck out wide, the big fella. And Danny Arthur equal to the task and wraps him up. He'll play back near to Linton. Linton away goes across from the second row uh, to the centre, sorry. Takes a tackle, a good lay tackle from Rob Goodger and finished off by Lyle, uh, Liam Balson, uh, sorry, Nigel Balson. What's he real there? You haven't stood square, he said. No, Linton said, I'll take the, take the tap here. Back it comes to the big centre. said, I'll go through the middle of the mad centre. And down he comes, the big fella. And upended by Harry Bleacher and Co. there. Barkle on the line here. 
Went and only metres here. Back it comes the big Stolly, going to run wide. The big fellow throws himself at the defence there, and good, good defence for Barkle. And Danny Arthur and Co. there, and Coco Wilson underneath. Lyle Borson as well. Dummy half there, the hook gets it away to um, let him sit on Galmi. The boys are trying to get a, get a try here, but Winton have got it. He's going backwards. Still going. What are, what are we doing here? Winton, the referee says play on. Winton are going to score, are they? No, they can't get over the line. Oh, good defence for Barkhorn there. Play it back now. It's going to no one. Back to the big second row. Charges ahead there. Can't get that ball down. And it's held up. Dummy out there, gets it away there. Winton there, trying to throw it wide. They've got numbers there wide, it goes to no one. And the little fellow, little replacement player, it goes across field and can't get away and falls over and hard bottle there, wraps him up. So it'll be a handover. Here's up there, sick tackles and... Uh, there. A bit of cloud flying out of the big fella. Why it comes near the big Nigel Borson down the middle, he goes the big fella. Up to the 20 metre mark. Oh, there's a few going in here. That was out of nothing, mate. That little hooker. They'll do the fight as well, these women. They'll get a hiding in the fight as well. There she's on out here. Lobel said, come here and I'll sort you out. He's still going here. There's hammer and tongs here. He's throwing the old head butts about it. He's still going, this little fella. He's down at last. What's the referee going to call here? To come off second best there for sure. What's he going to do here? He's not too good, the little fella. He actually copped a couple of bashes in the old head. He's there. A bit of claret coming out of the little fella. Bit of a melee sent to the bin. The law got out of that. Scott Free will like that. <laughs> anyway, he's more to penalty to bark all. I don't think that little bloke on the wing will be throwing too many more punches, mate. She's in Gargar land there walking around on circles. Pulled on the wrong fella there, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, Penalty restart and uh, bound touch there, Mark on the attack. Nigel Borson, sorry, on the burst, the big fella. Runs across the oh, take an eye there and a bit of a high tackle. He's gone there and a high hit. Big Nigel. I don't think it'll worry Nigel too much. I'm going to throw a cement truck over the top of you and probably bounce off that. And then uh, milk the other penalty there. And, uh, no problem at all, the big fella. Take an eye and the tackle, no mistake about that. And. Bash had said, oh, fine, touch, touch the fullback there, makes no mistake, so right on the boil here, Witten under a lot of pressure here. Nigel said, I'll have another go. Back it comes a bit off, down the middle comes the big prop, and takes a tackle. Gets up and plays it back now, the way goes Hayward away from dummy half, still going. Gets a pass at the back to big day, bit off, oh, crunch tackle there, and a good tackle to him. He'll get up and play it out, only metres out. Crow gets a big one out the back to Bleacher. Bleacher out to Robbie Goodger. Cuts back inside. Still going the second row. Wrapped up by the Witten. 25 or 7. 5 or so metres out from the Witten line. Back it comes across field. Crow wants it out wide to Harry Bleacher. They've got numbers wide here. Give it to Woodsy there screaming. He had two men there to mark with. I don't think they would have got him. What's he real there? That was against Barkhorn there. The play the ball. Played, the, played at the ball in the ruck by the look of the signal again. Yeah. They went and they uh, tried to get out of the end of the same. He went and to ruck this ball at the big forward there this time. I see Nigel that coming across the line himself up with a couple there. And he went and find touch. They're 20 metres out from their own line. Now he went and forward to want to ruck this. But anyway, here we go. Stolly says, I'll have it anyway if no one else wants it. Down the middle comes the big fella and they come at him and drive him to ground. And set, he, set up on him there. And, and uh, they bit off and bit off there, involved in the ruck. The middle of the ruck there, holding the fence. Him and uh, Rob Bridge there, taking the ground. Back comes to Latham, down the middle he comes, and all set up on by the, by the barky defence. An easy meet there, they're going to run one out, mate. Gains a few metres, and that's good all it does. Oh, lost the ball, a big hit. 
En een double knock on, nee. Knock on bij het lijf. Kijk, hij wil zijn de bol aan de boiler. Je kan het in de bijken, maar. Nee, zo was het. Dat was het. Ik heb het de second round, hij is een beetje groggy. En ik moet het weer proberen. Het is een beetje 15 minuten te gaan. Stolen hier, zakken een beetje breder in. Hij heeft het heel lang gegaan. Hij heeft het heel lang gegaan. Zakken in de big one. Come back home with that scrum win. Back to Danny Arthur. Picks up Bash with the fullback in the move. He's got Shane Woods with him in support. Will he look around for him? Oh, take the tackle there. And the fullback makes no mistake. He'll get up and play the ball back. Woods the dummy half. Gets it away to KK Wilson. The second row on the boil. Gains a few more metres down the middle. Dummy half is Hagey. Gets it across the crow. Crow's got back line support. Rob Wood. Good to stand wide out to Harry. Harry Bleacher on, on, the, on his own there. Cuts around one. Oh, he's gone through him. Harry Bleacher. A good score, and they come at him and take him in defence. Has he gone over there? No, they've held him up. Well, the referee's ruled, held up. So I'll see a 10 metre scrum, will we? 10 metre scrum with the bark all feed. There's no, the attacking side doesn't lose the ball there. They get the feed of the scrum. to go down, about 10 metres out from the Winton line. Come away in the re reverse move there by Danny Arthur and he strolled over and scored an easy try. Oh, I tell you what, that wasn't a bad one. They finished him off over the top, but I don't think it hurt the young fella. Now they brought up the 50 points, eh? Hey, 52 points in the He's taking the kick this time, mate. Crowey back in business again, yeah. Went and might have stuck it to him today, but uh, credit to the Red Fellas, mate. They've turned it on here in both grades. Yeah, actually, it had been a bad day all round for the uh, Gwenners. We had the Black Hole Juniors over here this morning and a uh, couple of good results there. Mainly the 16. Big plug for them. And Cray moves in there, strikes it pretty well. In towards the goal pass, it goes. Oh, and just ball short. So it still remains 52. So long, long as you got up in Alpha 16-8, so it's all to no avail. But these fellas are still playing well enough. So long as I think next week, being Bashman takes the ball and bashes the fullback there, gets it up towards the 30 metre mark, takes the tackle. Way back now, it comes across to uh, Robbie Goodger down the middle. He goes the second row, gets around one or two, straightens it up, takes the tackle. Over. He went in there, finish him off. The big, the big carpenter plays it back now to Crow, Crow to Bashford. Oh, to Bleacher, sorry. Bleacher to fit off the outside of Danny Arthur. He's got uh, Mark Arbottle on the ball, cuts back inside. He's got support. Oh, fires a beautiful pass. See, Danny Arthur will go away and score under the post. With a lot of hand put on him. And a great try, too. Good to anticipation and back up there. Arbottle knew the man was on the inside and floated a beautiful pass there. Oh, it's now at 56 points to nil with a kick to come. Very good attack there. Use that blind side pretty well there. Good, good move there with a couple of second rows and a heavy forward involvement there and picked up there. Flying winner. Who uh, had enough sense in and 
to know that Danny Alfred on the inside there. Good support play. And uh, made no mistake. They can be like this every time. He said, I'll kick a million. Yeah, the Springboks be on a bit of a boil. Be a good game of rugby union. Not that we want to talk about the rah rahs too much, but uh, just to break the old silence here. And Crow makes no mistake with the kick anyway. Raises the flags. So 58 points to nil. This is going to cost the league some money. This is $100 bonuses. They keep this up. All these nil scores. Well, B grade has missed out today, but uh, that was a better result for the B grade. They uh, went down to Longridge last week. Probably a bit complacent. Took Longridge a bit easy. And uh, a few changes that Longridge made worked for them. And, uh, Lee probably had a good game too, I thought. Uh, Restart here. Lenton says, I'll oh, kick it different. Kick it straight to Coco again. <coughs> he runs it back up over the 20 metre mark. Gains value metres and set up on there. Quick play the ball. Johnny Power at dummy half. Looks for the runners. Oh, he throws a shocker out the back door. Oh, Nigel said, Am I going to get that? I couldn't have caught it in 10 goes. What's the referee going to rule? He's played the advantage. He said, No advantage. So we'll play the scrum. Play the knock on. We'll have a scrum. This old driver's dog, she's laid down. What's, that, what's happened here? Is Bark all come away with it? No, I think Witten have it. Latham and Dummy R says, where's me runners? He gets it back to his centre. Gets away on one or two there and takes the tackle. Coco Wilson wrap him up. Another tackle for Coco. And here's another one. Slips the pass to the back, goes to the big prop and says, what am I doing with this? Taking one underneath Johnny Power, the replacement forward. Had a good game in reserve grade too. This one always oh, gone without it. And oh, Winton caused a little knock on there. We'll see a scrum go down. So about eight minutes to go. And Sinbin players back on the field. Put in by Barkle and taken away by Crow. Working the scrum oil. Young half backs off. Taken by Danny Arthur. Slips the pass out the bash of the fullback in the movement. Claps on the pace there, gets about 30 metres out from his own line, taken by the defence. He'll play back to Power. Power said, I'll go down the middle. He does this well in reserve grade, this fella. Scoots from that dummy half. Makes easy yards, too, mate. Bash with the dummy half, gets to Crow. Crow gets across field. Big Lyle Borson is on the burst. Gets that leg going as he goes. Oh, shows the football, but takes the tackle. Plays it back now. Back from hard bottle to Crow. Crow gets across to the bleacher. Robbie Good just standing more of the ruck there. Takes a tackle. Just inside Winton territory. Dummy half power. Says, give us a go here to this side. The blind tree. Liam Borson to Harry Bleacher. Danny Arthur on the boil again. The second, the big lock forward. Slips the pass out the, out the back. Picked up by Harry Bleacher. Claps on the pace, Harry. Let's take it by the Winton defence. Fifth and last, says referee Cronin. What are we going to do here, Barky? We'll try something different. Well, says, we'll put a bomb up. We haven't done that in about three games. Comes through there on the fullback. Oh, take! Oh, he's picked up the ball. How the hell did he do that? <laughs> the referee says no. You, you're offside. He pushed the push the fullback out of the play. Didn't he? He's ruled him that he's taken the fullback out of the play. And somehow he come up with the ball stuck in his arm. The referee says um, you're offside. Taking him out to so penalise you. Went went and come up near the penalty. About 10 metres out from the rain line. He's real time out. A little went and fall back here injured. He's back on his pins, eh? Rule's time out. He's back on his feet. So went to take a kick for line. And letting makes no mistake, just a point touch. He's about 15 metres out from his own line. Latham is to take no. No, it's not a hooker said I'll take the restart. Stolly says I'll have a run down the middle again. He said I've done this a million times a day. And take him well. Bit off and uh, power it was, it wrapped him up. Crossfield they come. Another replacement player on for Winton. And he set upon the fence there and throw the ground. Nigel Borson and Kay there, wrap him up. Back it comes in, another run there by the big prop for Winton. And he set upon just inside Winton territory. Yeah, 10 or so metres out inside his territory and good defence there. Wilson there comes at him, drives him, another tackle for Coco. I'd like to see the stat sheet at the end of the day, mate. I bet this fellow's got to be a 40 tackles up. 
Crossfield through that centre, and he's tried everything to centre to try and spark that back line, but Power with another good tackle. Oh, and a bad miss in the play of the ball. What's he rule here? You haven't, you haven't, stand, haven't stood square. And a fine touch here. <coughs> Letting fine touch. Back to uh, Latham and his down the middle comes the little fella. A chip of the old block, this fella. His old man's a pretty hard forward in his day for Winton. Takes the tackle there of Power and K. Across field they go. See the big front rail there and drives it towards the Barkle and deep in Barkle and Territory. Taken well by Balderson and K. Across 